Hey guys, I'm Cecily Lopez here at my Latina cover shoot. Do people get confused of your ethnicity? Oh yeah, I mean I have people on all the time. It's like, so when you going back to Somalia, it's just like automatically know that I'm either from Somalia or Ethiopia. I don't look like the average Latin woman, you know. I have darker skin and coarser hair. It was a bit difficult because uh, I have three sisters and each and every one of us are a different shade. I used to get it really bad from my like older sister because you know, she was lighter and had lighter eyes and curlier hair, but in the industry, I mean, they don't even ask me. They're just like, oh, you're a black girl. From uh, Iman, she told me, you know, always stay yourself. But at times, you know, because it's difficult because, you know, her story is so amazing. She was like from, I know I have it like mixed up, but like basically like from like royalty and they were saying like that she found, they found her in like the jungles of Africa and she was really like in college and stuff like that. So she's saying like, you have to stay yourself. Although people were saying this because it was interesting or, you know, it was appealing. But once I told people who I am and what I come from and what I'm here to do, mm -hmm. I got a lot more respect than being some robot on set. When did you know you wanted to be a model? Oh boy, I mean, I never really thought I could be because I, you know, I battled eczema when I was younger. I mean, people used to call me Elephant Man and I had really bad teeth. <laughs> it was just like everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong on me. I begged my mother for like six years, it seemed like, until she said yes. And I don't know, once I got in that atmosphere of being backstage and makeup and everything, I was just like, oh my God, like, I feel like this is what I'm supposed to do. That's your phone? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to answer? No. Okay. It's just my boyfriend. So Aww. I'll talk to him later. <laughs> do, you, do you come from a single um, mom yeah. household? Yeah. What's so that like? It was really hard. She has three girls, and it's like, it was really, really tough because she's a very independent woman, and, you know, she's not that type of person who needs someone to enable for her to function. It was really like a leap of faith. Well, it was my mother and I. So we didn't have an agency or mm -hmm. an apartment or anything, so she sold her first house and from the money that she got off of that, we just stayed in hotels for a while and just prayed to God that someone would pick me up. Mm -hmm. But you know, at times it get hard, you have three girls who are like young women. We didn't make it any easier for her, I feel so bad, I'm surprised she still loves me. <laughs> Sometimes you get comparisons to Grace Jones and Iman, yeah. what do you think of that? Like That's awesome, like, are you kidding me? Me? <laughs> I mean, I'm just me. I'm just like this little dark, and people are like, oh, you have so much Iman in you, or you're such like little Grace. And I'm like, what? I mean, it took me for a little while to know exactly who they are, especially Grace Jones. I mean, I, I wish I could be like that in a sense. I'm a bit more reserved, but she was just so cool. Her swagger was just like, yo, hello, yeah, Jamaica. <laughs> What would you tell like young girls too, like you know, about getting out of you know your hometown and like oh, you know pursuing wow. dreams? You, you definitely have to. It's so important because it, it makes you who you are. It, you're more cultured and worldly because if you stay in the same place, it's a little, little like simple-minded in a sense. Just just go and see and just open up your eyes and your mind a bit, and it'll change your life. Well, I'm really excited for you because you're you know our first supermodel in a long time on our cover. So wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you're up there, so thank you so much, Cecily. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs>